Ever wonder how to create an online course that sells? Absolutely. Well, we're talking about it here on The Journey. During the last year or so, online courses have become the hot new thing. Everywhere from coaches to consultants, they're all putting their best work online and creating an online course. Yeah, they're all the rage now. You know, nowadays we're seeing online courses on every conceivable topic you could think of. Literally everything. And it's just a great way to create a passive income where you create it once and then you're constantly making money from it from then on out. So we're gonna talk about what it's gonna to take to get that online course and some ways to actually make it sell. Um, so let's start off with what do you need to get started? And I think that's that's three things, right? That's a domain name, that's hosting, and then the course itself. We have a pretty cool uh, video on what it takes to have a good domain name right up here if you haven't had one yet. And then hosting is just kind of that online storage for your website. It's where all your content's gonna go. And then I'm gonna show you guys a little tutorial here in a little bit of it's probably my favorite plugin to create an online course. So first things first, we need to create a plan. Right. Think about it, if you were a teacher, you would need a lesson plan, right? So this is really creating an outline of what you're gonna talk about, what's gonna go into that, you know, what lessons you actually wanna teach. Yeah, that's super important. You don't wanna just jump headfirst into it and then it's gonna be super unorganized and just chaotic in a word, right? So with your online course, whether it's like a Word doc or OneNote or whatever you're doing, just list out your main subjects you're gonna be talking about with a couple of bullets here on out. And you could expand on that later on, but at least you have the high level overview of the type of content you wanna talk about and then the structure itself. Yeah, no one's gonna to wanna to watch a online course that is just some general topic and has no direction. Yeah, no, one's had, no one has time for that create some direction so that people know what they're actually gonna watch. Yeah, and I think it's important too to understand the type of course you wanna actually create, whether it's text only, so you're just writing out uh, content in text, whether you want videos, whether you want quizzes, some type of interaction, you wanna make sure that you have that figured out so you know where your direction is. You'll also wanna determine some of the, the course restrictions, whether this course is going to be a free course you're gonna use as just a lead generator, or if you're gonna put a, a dollar amount behind it. I think it's important to have that defined early because it's going to set the stage for your entire course and then your marketing plan afterwards. Also make sure that you're protecting you and your content with some policy and procedures. So if you don't want your content recorded or redistributed, make sure you have those rules in place to protect you as well. Yeah, and then next you wanna figure out how do you want to present the content? Do you want them to have it all at once for them to use or do you wanna drip it to where it's more like classroom oriented? So yeah, week one you do this content and then week two it'll release and they can jump in. Understanding that helps out a lot with how you market it and then how you just distribute it to your audience. And that's a great way to keep people coming back. Next week, you're gonna get this. Next week, you're gonna get this. Yeah, and I think too, like uh, sometimes we need to better understand our audience and what the, what's, what content do they actually want? I know we, we have our own perceptions of they need to learn this, uh, but a great way to better understand even just the modules that you're gonna be creating is by doing an ask campaign. Uh, so I actually learned this from Russell Brunson. He's the founder of ClickFunnels, but he, when he, whenever he creates an online course, he starts with an ask campaign. Uh, so if my topic is social media, right, I'm going to send out an email to my newsletter subscribers and say, hey, what is your number one question about social media? And then he collects those answers and gets the, the top, usually six common answers, essentially makes that the course. He knows exactly what his audience wants. He knows the content that, that they, they're gonna actually need, right? And then that's his course. He has those six topics, those six modules in his course. So if you're kind of stuck on the exact content to put in there and that outline too, do an ask campaign, figure out what your audience actually wants so that way it's relevant and important to them. Exactly, that's gonna help you create that guideline and then you can use that to create your content. Exactly. And then at the end, you're not having people ask a lot of questions that you should have covered and having to create you know, a different video. So now that we know what our you know, so-called students want in our content and the guideline that we're gonna be following, mm -hmm. uh, how do we actually implement this and create the online course? Yeah, great question. There are so many different ways to go out and create an online course. 
Uh, there are tons of WordPress plugins that make it super easy. And there's even other providers that, that that's their whole thing. I know teachable.com is a, a great resource for those that aren't really tech savvy, but want something pretty easy. But we're actually gonna do a demo of using uh, some couple free solutions. We're gonna use WordPress as our platform to host it on. We're gonna use a plugin called Tutor LMS. I'm actually gonna show you all a demo of how to use it and how to set it up for success. So what does LMS stand for in Tutor LMS? Yeah, LMS is Learning Management System. Basically, it's, it's an application or program you use to basically house your course in a sense. So all you need is a hosting account with WordPress set up and installed. Most hosting providers make it super easy to install WordPress on. And then once you're in here, we're gonna go ahead and just add and install a new plugin. So on the left-hand side here, we'll mouse over plugins and go to add new. And then we're going to search for Tutor LMS. It is a free plugin uh, at its base. Most of the core functions are gonna be free. Like most plugin providers, there are some extra paid options if you wanna kinda of go above and beyond. Uh, LearnPress is also a pretty phenomenal LMS plugin as well. So once we search that, we go ahead and just click install now. It just takes a moment to install. And then it's gonna go through kind of an onboarding experience. Now the course we're gonna create, we're gonna really just kind of repurpose some of the, the journey content we have. So we're gonna create a course on how to up your social media game. Um, and that's gonna be the basis of our course for, for this demo purpose, but you can use it for almost anything you're wanting to do related to your industry. So after Tutor LMS is installed, we're gonna go ahead and go over to it. We click Tutor LMS and now we don't have any courses. So we're gonna go ahead and click add new. Then we're gonna give it a title. So up your social media game. It's gonna be our title, um, but you want your title to be kind of descriptive of what they're actually going to get out of it. I know I've created a course in the past and I named it the road to your first thousand followers on social media, something super specific. But we're gonna keep it at simple for the, the course of this demo, just up your social media game. And then here we have a description. So we can add as much content as we like. Remember when creating your description for your online course, you wanna make it about them and what they're getting out of it. Try not to just info dump and say, we're gonna teach uh, social media, we're gonna teach Instagram, we're gonna teach how to create captions. Those are all great features for your course itself, but they don't really, it's hard for someone to actually imagine what that does for them. Right, let people know why they should care why these things actually affect their business. And that's gonna be a lot more effective than just saying, here's what this is, this is, this is, when they haven't even learned it yet. Yep, focus on benefits versus features. I'm gonna be lazy and just put some generic text for the demo here itself. All right, and then going through Tutor LMS, it's gonna ask you, what do you want your maximum students to be? If you want it to be unlimited, great, put it as unlimited. Uh, obviously I want as many people to do it, but you can set a little bit of urgency, especially for higher dollar uh, courses itself. So if your courses are like two, three, four, five thousand dollars even maybe more, sometimes it's good to have a maximum number of students there to create that urgency. So now people will say, cool, now there are only four spots left. Yeah, you make it a little left. more prestigious. It's like, hey, yeah. the first 100 people to sign up for this course, they get in, no one else does. Exactly, kind of that bit of a perception, mm -hmm. if you will. Cool, next up is an expert. Experts are optional handcrafted summaries. You can add whatever you're wanting there. Really just a quick description uh, for the sake of your time and our time. We're gonna go ahead and put just some generic info here, uh, but cool, make it just a quick expert excerpt, maybe one or two sentences of what they're gonna get out of this. And then right below that is going to be a course builder. We're actually gonna get back to that here in a second. Uh, I wanna show you the rest of the information here. So you'll have some additional data uh, and it's gonna go over total course duration. Uh, you really wanna tell your audience how long is this course going to take them? Then you have some benefits of the course. Uh, so you can go ahead and add some information here, some requirements or additional instructions that you may want, your target audience, like who is this, this, who is this course for? Like who would benefit the most from this? I think it's important to really niche down when you're creating your courses try not to make something that applies to everyone because it'll apply to no one. Yeah, so for the journey, ours would be you know entrepreneurs or small local business owners, anything along those lines. Exactly. Now going down the list here on the Tutor LMS, uh, 
homepage here. And now you're gonna have a course intro video. It does help to have a quick little summary. Again, visual video is engaging. So have something here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in from YouTube and grab our just journey intro video here. Yeah, you have to give people a reason to actually watch. You need to hook them and that video, the intro video can be a huge asset for that. Absolutely, so let me go ahead and add this in here. Cool, and that'll be our video. Then you can add an announcement if you'd like. We're gonna leave that blank for now. Uh, and then the other thing you wanna do is a couple things, right? So you wanna have categories. So if you do plan on creating a ton of different courses on your website, categorize them so that it makes it easy to identify and understand what this is. So I'm gonna create an easy category of social to make all of our lives easy. Man, I can't type. <laughs> all right, Let's try that so I'll, I'll fix it in post. Social, there, there we, go. we go. And then tags, tags are just things like keywords that describe your content. So you can really put in anything like Instagram, Facebook, followers. SEO. SEO, love it. And then a featured image. This image needs to be visually stunning and appealing to an audience. So if they're looking at it, it grabs their attention. So basically a picture of the journey, our, our you know, cast, right? All right, so I chose the journey as my featured image. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save draft for now because I wanna see what this might look like on my website. So if I click preview here in the upper right, it's going to show me what it looks like. Cool, so I have up your social media game, category social, shows me how many enrolled, when's the last time it was updated. I have my trailer here, so it's nice and easy to see. Materials included, we have videos, we have quizzes, an easy option to enroll now, our tags, target audience, what we will learn, that description. Then it shows about the instructor. This To update that, you have to go to uh, users and then your profile, and you can update your information there. Really just to kind of describe who you are, let people into your world. And then this is basically going to be the, the landing page for your online course. And that took us just a few minutes to create. WordPress and this plugin make it super easy to actually create your course. So now let's get into actually building the course. What do we do for that? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna use the course builder. It's right on that page here. So we're gonna add topics. So we have topics and then we have the actual lessons themselves. Uh, that way it helps you really break up the, the, the content that you're gonna be talking about. So topics could be uh, an intro. I usually start my courses with some type of introduction, uh, some things to get them kind of up to speed. And then maybe since we're up talking about social, I might make each topic like Instagram mm -hmm. or followers or marketing or something high level that really describes the next couple of sections. So I'm just gonna do intro here. I'm just gonna add that topic. You can give it a summary if you'd like, and then we're gonna add new lessons. And like I said, we're, we're pulling it from our YouTube channel, some of the videos and making that the course. Uh, if you just want it to be text, you just update the text here and add your text as well as your title. But let me go ahead and find something social media related, how to use Twitter for your online business. Perfect. Perfect, so let me grab this URL here. Let me update the title, how to use Twitter for your online business. And then you can add a featured image if you'd like, uh, but I'm just gonna choose a YouTube as the video source. You can throw that in there. And then it has the video playback time. So you can tell people how long this lesson is going to take them. Cause maybe they may not be adding, doing this all in one chunk. They might have 15 minutes for right now and then 30 minutes for another time and letting them know up front how long each course will last really helps them set aside the right time to follow your course. So this video was nine minutes and 10 seconds. Nine, 10, and then update lesson. And now that lesson is done. Uh, we're gonna kind of add a couple more and then we'll, we'll jump back into some other stuff here. So I added a bit of content into this. Now let me show you how the actual learning management system works if I was an everyday user coming to the website. So I land on this landing page, I can go to enroll now, uh, it, but it shows me the topics for this course. It has the intro and then advanced. And I can see the content here. Now I can't get to it unless I enroll. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose enroll now. And then now I have an option to start this course and complete the course. You can set up different options if you wanna add quizzes or certain passing metrics if they wanna get a completed course. Uh, so let's go ahead and start course and check this out. 
Cool, so this is how it looks. It's, it shows your lesson list on the left-hand side. We have our intro and advance. It shows our videos. You can have your text below it. It can only be text only, which is completely fine, or you can add video, or you can kind of have a little bit of both. Really whatever works best for you and your audience. Obviously, text is going to be easier to create. You don't have to create video, you don't have to edit it and things like that. Uh, but it might be more engaging to go with videos. And as they go through it, uh, they can see each lesson. And as they go, they can click complete lesson to mark their progress. Then next and next and next. And it makes it super organized and super neat for an everyday user to actually take your content. And then this is responsive, so it works great on mobile, on tablet, or on desktop. Okay, so you've made your course now, but how do you actually get people to watch it or even buy it? Yeah, there are tons of ways, and we're gonna go through a, a couple here. But really before your, your class goes live, it's, it's good to make little, essentially teasers, if you will, uh, post about the upcoming course. So tell your audience that, hey, there's something in the works, it's gonna be awesome. And then as it goes on, like, hey, I'm creating this course, it's gonna be on this topic. Who, who would be interested and then create, keep creating content around that to kind of build up the, the hype and anticipation. So when it does li go live, your audience actually knows about it. Yeah, you have to build up that hype. And that's a really good opportunity to add in that ask question of, you know, yeah. hey, what's some content that you guys want to see in this course? Yep. And then as you have your outline going, you can kind of share that with the audience of this is the stuff I'm going to cover. And I know what a lot of people do too, is they'll actually create mini courses as lead generators. Like, hey, here's a taste of some of the work that I do that uh, I teach and that's super valuable. And they give it out for free. And then that way they have that person's email, that person takes their course, goes, well, this is a ton of value, this is awesome. And then when you release your paid course, they're like, all right, cool. I've already got a ton of value from this. I know this person is an expert with what, what they teach. I'll, I'm more inclined to actually buy and kind of continue with that. Absolutely. If you're expecting people to spend money on this course, you have to give them a reason why and why they should trust that they're actually <laughs> going to get benefit from this. So that's a give and take situation. Yeah. And with uh, the plugin Tutor LMS and many of the other plugins uh, with WordPress, there's an option to make certain ones free for anybody to watch. So I know a pretty popular option is to make your first course, like the first lesson for free. And if they want to continue, then they pay. So if you got them hooked on that first lesson, you've got them hooked for the rest of it. And another way to make this even more profitable for you is to add some additional materials or tools that people can use to help them out even after the online course. So for instance, if you created a course on, here's how to edit an Instagram photo, and then you added additional materials of like Lightroom presets or you know things along those lines that people can purchase to actually continue that education. Yeah, and it's all about kind of that perceived value. I know what a lot of people will do too is they'll have their course for X price and then they'll talk about all of the extras that come with it. So whether it's a checklist, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one consultation, whether it's access to a Facebook group, they add a perceived value for all these freebie extras so if I had a, an ebook that I, I paired with it, I could say an added value of $49.99, but you're getting it for free. And then if I had a content calendar, added value of $89.99, but you're getting it for free. Now it feels like I'm getting a lot more, basically more bang for my buck with just buying this course. So adding that perceived value can help out a ton. Then there's really going through and doing traditional advertising, right? You can go on Facebook ads or Instagram ads or Twitter or whoever your target audience is and start just testing out different different things you can do to get your, your course in front of them. Now I would say you'll find a lot more success if you market your free course, right? To get that lead generator. I, think, I know you're spending money to get someone into a free, free course. It, it seems backwards, right? But really wanna like think of it as a funnel. So when you're marketing your content, you're getting into the free course, they like that, then you start, then you can use your email marketing to talk to them about your paid course and some of your other offerings. And it kind of goes down and down and down. Uh, so start big, start broad, go the free option, and then go down to your paid option once they trust you and see you as an authoritative source. So now you know how to do it. Go out and create your own online course that sells. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. Yeah, and subscribe to our channel and ring that bell to so get these episodes first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.